back. You're saying you've got evidence. Can you show us some of that evidence where you uh, not, can I'm prove not, not, that I'm the not, other filmmakers were on board when you made these comments? I'm not. I'm not going to to do such a thing because because I understand the sensibility and of the situation of people who are afraid and feel that they might uh, pay a price for 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 what they said. And I'm sure that you and all the viewers, we respect above everything uh, the freedom of speech and the freedom of people uh, to express their opinion. And but, and but, but you haven't and answered and my no, question, no, 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 Nadab. No, no, Since no, no, you are a no. filmmaker, let me challenge you by asking you just this. Is Schindler's List propaganda? How we, who determines what is, it's made from a particular point of view, is Fawda propaganda, you know Fawda of course, is that propaganda, who determines it's made from a certain point of view for a certain community and not just in that community, even outside, people seem to have watched Fawda and the Kashmir Files uh, and Schindler's List and really found it to be a very gripping watch. So who's somebody no, else who's no. not a filmmaker to stand up and say that you think this is propaganda? No one determines. No one determines. No one can determine if one film is propaganda and one film is not. And one might think that Schindler List, for instance, is a propaganda or, or not. And I totally respect and accept the fact that there are many people who love this movie, who think that it is a brilliant movie, as well as I respect the fact that there are people who, who think terrible things about my movies. But I, this year, was invited to Goa as the president of the jury because of my achievements as a filmmaker, in order to express my opinion, my view, and the view of the jury about the movies. So, exactly as, as much as the people who love the movie have, of course, the full right, it goes without saying, to claim that it's a brilliant, unbelievable movie, I have the right to claim that it's the opposite. And what I did, is my duty, my duty towards the festival that invited me. The festival which invited me, invited me in order to express my opinion about the movies and to say the truth as I see it. Of course it's, sub it's subjective. We don't talk here about a scientific thing. No, but you also seem to have sparked a massive diplomatic controversy. Israel's Council General Khob Shoshani met uh, Anupam Kher, the actor of the Kashmir file, and had to apologize on behalf of the Israeli government to the government of India. I think that uh, politicians, um, they have their uh, way of make uh, profits out of cases like this. I think that, that uh, the Israeli politicians and the ambassador did uh, an ex abused in, a, in an ugly, disgusting and manipulative way this case. You know, I'm a private person. I have the right to say what I think. I don't need to g get authorization for this, neither from the Israeli ambassador nor from no one else. I'm not their property. I don't need, need to get advice from there to what I say and what I don't say. I was talking as a private person and as an artist and as a filmmaker, as in the president of the jury, invited by this jury to give his opin opinion about the movies. When the Israeli ambassador condemned what I said about the tragedy of Kashmir, he's doing exactly the same manipulation because as I said, and I will say it if, if I'll have to another 1,000 times, I was never ever speaking about the Kashmir tragedy. And I totally, I totally uh, uh, not taking back what I said, but I'm really sorry if people were hurted because of this. I was thinking about the movie, the movie, the Kashmir Files, that was done based on this tragedy. And when the Israeli ambassador condemns what, what I'm saying and claiming that he is not a film expert, but he uh, thinks that the Kashmir File is not a propaganda movie, first of all, it is right. Second of all, as he as he's saying himself and witnessing himself, he is not a film expert. So maybe, maybe he's not extremely uh, appropriate to, to, to give his opinion. I mean, it's his subjective opinion. Third of all, you know, he was standing there on stage saying that, that unfortunately, he doesn't have time to watch movies, so he doesn't know uh, a lot about cinema. So I don't know to which extent when he's claiming that it's a propaganda movie or not a propaganda movie, what exactly does it mean? But all of this, 
is a cheap manipulation, cheap political manipulation. It is done by people in Israel and also by certain people in India about what I was saying. You, know, you seem to have had multiple run-ins uh, with the government of Israel in the past. I have over here some comments you made where you're saying that there is something rotten about the soul of Israel. Uh, you're saying that Israeli sickness or nature is characterized by young Israeli men, muscular, smiling. Uh, they are proud of being Israeli. This is a dichotomous vision of existence and us versus them all. So in multiple interviews that you've given, uh, you seem to have been constantly at odds with the, with the policies of the government of uh, Israel. Listen, I make films from the bottom of my heart. I'm Israeli. I grew up in Israeli. I passed through the whole Israeli process, high school, military service. And of course, when I see, uh, when I see things that I dislike in my country, it, it, it hurts me. It hurts my feeling and it hurts my heart. And my movies, which sometimes are crit critical and sometimes are harsh towards my country, come exactly from this, this place, because this place is dear to my heart. I'm sure you feel the same thing about India, and I'm sure you know very well, and everyone knows very well, that when something is dear to your heart, first of all, you're emotional about it, and second of all, of all your obligation, your only obligation, is to claim and to say the truth as you see it. Who invited you to be the head of the jury in India? Because now there's a lot of outcry over this invitation being extended to you and the fact that you came and uh, said the kind of things that you did about this particular film. Uh, who invited you? How did you decide to come and become head of the jury at EFI this year? I was invited by, by the festival. I don't know exactly. I got an email from the festival. You know, I was a jury member in dozens and dozens of film festivals. I was a jury member in the official competition in Berlin Film Festival, in sidebars in Cannes, presidents of a sidebar section in Venice, official competition in Locarno. I've been jury member and jury president in dozens of film festivals. And when I was, was invited to go, I was extremely happy because, as I said, I think that almost all my movies, or maybe all my movies, were shown there because my movie won the uh, uh, two uh, very prestigious prize because it's such a prestigious film festival and because I wanted to, to get to know India. Okay, you've had your say. Uh, you're alleging that other filmmakers were on board with your comments, which is what other filmmakers who were part of the jury have said is in truth. They claim to have spoken to uh, some of the other members of the jury. We will follow this up, uh, but I must say that what you've said not just to members of the Kashmiri community, and you haven't really been able to explain, say, Schindler's List or uh, Fauda and whether you find Fauda to be propaganda or not. You never answered that question. Do you think Fauda is propaganda? The serial from Israel, which was being publicized and was the star attraction at the EFI this year. I mean, that, that seems like propaganda. If you're looking, if you're looking at it from a Palestinian perspective, uh, that looks like propaganda. No, I find it un unbelievable the way you repeat again and again and again the same question, uh, even though I'm answering. I said again and again and again, and I'm not going to, to repeat it uh, another time because I said it already. I said that there is no label propaganda or no, non propaganda. I said that it's, it's the personal opinion of someone, and, and, and I can totally understand how also people can see my films maybe as propaganda. I, I respect it. I, of course, I disagree, but I respect it. This was my opinion and the opinion of people around me. I was invited there to give my opinion about the movies, give awards to the best movies, to talk about their, their qualities, and also to talk about what I think about the other movies. And this is exactly what I said.